Here's a quick walk around of the MyFly Dream Believer. Very easy to assemble in the field. Uh, throw in a couple carbon spar tubes and uh, mount the wings. Everything's a, a quick and easy click fit. So once the wings are on, it's ready to go. Pretty amazing how much storage space is available for battery and payload in this mapping aircraft. And a quick close up of the Pan 360 servo I mounted and 3D printed and designed mount for the Runcam hybrid camera. I uh, made sure everything was connected, batteries were run on, and I had full satellites on my OSD. At this point, I flipped everything into auto takeoff mode, uh, armed the aircraft, and threw it in the air. Takeoff and climb out went without an issue. Takeoff mode was configured to climb out at 18 degrees, 95% uh, throttle. Um, it took off just fine given this was a maiden. I didn't even let it complete the full takeoff before flipping the aircraft into fly-by-wire A and making sure I had control over it. Um, once I gained some altitude at that point, I went ahead and flipped it into return to launch mode so I could set down the transmitter and put on the uh, fat shark goggles to perform the rest of the flight in FPV mode. Here the aircraft is circling, I've got on the goggles and now I've flipped into fly-by-wire A. Uh, FPV is working as it should. At this point I'm just starting to check out the battery utilization, how much, uh, how much I'm burning through, making sure I've got full sats and uh, full control. Again, given this is the maiden, I was a bit nervous and it was a pretty windy day as well. So trying to keep an eye on everything just to make sure that uh, the aircraft is performing like it should. So now that the aircraft is flying like it should, um, all control services are responding appropriately and it looks like the autopilot's doing a good job. Again, this was a pretty windy day and uh, it's getting blown around a little bit, but the Believer is a very large aircraft, um, but also very stable. Once in the air, it flies very, very easily. Um, the remainder of the flight is, is fairly uneventful as I just uh, performed some basic maneuvers, circling around, making sure everything is working like it should. Here I've switched to the bottom facing camera just to see what that perspective looks like. I'm utilizing a Matek F765 wing flight controller, uh, which allows you, has a built-in camera switcher. So I've got the forward facing FPV camera, as well as a uh, camera facing downward in the lower bay of the aircraft. As I mentioned earlier, the amount of cargo space in the aircraft and the fuselage is just crazy. Uh, right now in the aircraft, I've got two separate 10,500 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery packs. I'm only utilizing one for power. The other one is simply just for weight so I can get the plane to balance on the center of gravity. Uh, using this view, I'm looking at the second camera, the downward facing camera, and I'm trying to fly over myself and look below. Uh, there you can see the truck down below. Kind of hard to spot in the DVR, but it's, it's there. Pretty interesting perspective.
notice just on the right of the DVR, you can see the pitot tube for the airspeed sensor. Um, it's not actually hooked up for this flight. This was the first time I've used the pitot airspeed sensor and not sure how to necessarily configure it appropriately. I wanted to maiden without it. Um, hopefully in the near future, I'll go ahead and be testing that as well. At this point in the flight, I want to go ahead and land. So I'm starting to bleed off altitude, slowly letting the aircraft drop down. And I'm currently flying away from my, my landing. Um, as I lose altitude or bleed off the altitude, I'll slowly start to turn. Here you can see I'm banking to the left. I'll slowly start to turn and then uh, line up for final approach and landing. Way up there in the uh, distance after that crossroad is where I'll be landing. You notice on the uh, right hand of the OSD, I'm slowly bringing off, bleeding off altitude. This thing slowly floats down. Um, again, it's such an easy aircraft to fly. I was pretty nervous. Again, it was windy in my first flight up, but uh, Maiden went incredibly smooth. Again, just getting real close to landing. There's the truck, hopefully setting it down in one piece, fairly close so I don't have to walk too far. and touchdown and stop. Survived maiden of the MFD, my flight dream, believer. More flights to come.